World's Fair, the Man in His World exhibit? I haven't heard of that. Okay. I, couldn't, I don't know if that. A little before your time. It's 69, so. Yeah, a lot, <laughs> yeah, a lot before my time, so I wouldn't know. Okay, and uh, so you, you got through this training camp and you kept sticking around with all the cuts. Tell me about, you know, that process and how that, how that you know, worked on your mind. What were you thinking as every cut came and, hey, you're still here? Well, I took it day by day. I knew, you know, when am I going to be released? What's going to happen with me? And, you know, I took it day by day and, you know, I played, a, no matter what, if it was a morning skate practice or a game, I came out, worked hard, and, you know, the coach, Coach wouldn't talk to me every day, so I would have to think, oh, am I doing well, or mm -hmm. how are things going? But uh, you know, I took it day by day, and you know, I, played, I, pl I worked hard, I played well, so it all worked out for me. Now, it's obvious you worked hard because this locker room is pretty much empty. You're one of the guys in, so you're out on the ice a long time. Is that something that you're used to doing? Well, I try to stay on there, work a lot. Uh, you know, being the younger one, not always you have, like, Guys would think you'd have to stay out there longer, but I stay out there to work on my shooting, skating, mm -hmm. you know, most of the things. And sometimes I come off early, but most of the time I'll stay out and work on some little things. Okay. Uh, you had mentioned there's the possibility you could go back to your junior team. I'm not trying to say that's going to happen or anything, but if you do go back, do you think these guys are, you know, your teammates back there are going to try to mine you for what is it like to be up in the uh, up in the bigs? Well, they'll ask me how it is up here, but uh, if I go back, I'll have to be ready to play with them. I'll have to adjust to the mm -hmm. team system, but uh, you know, my objective is to stay up here, and I'm not worried at all if I go back. I'm a 100% sure that I'll stay up here and I'm going to work as hard as I can to play my 10th game here. A lot of lot better uh, riding on planes than buses, huh? Oh, it's a lot better. <laughs> I'd rather do that than bus for eight hours. The paper somewhere where one other player referred to you as Pickles. Is that a nickname you have? Uh, that's a nickname I've only gotten here okay. at the beginning of training camp. I think it was uh, Roy Summer, the okay. head coach for Worcester, who made that up and okay. stuck with me throughout rookie camp and now... Uh, it's my uh, nickname here. Now, with a name like Vlasic, you've probably had to deal with this all your life. You're not part of that family, right? No, I'm not. Yeah. A lot of people have asked me that, yeah. but no, I'm not. Yeah, it's something you grow up with and you just learn to deal with, but now you've got this new nickname. Oh, I, I find it funny, <laughs> and, you know, a lot of people have asked me, but no, I'm not related to the Vlasic Pickles. Okay. If you should uh, stay with the club for the whole year, the Sharks don't play Montreal this year. Is that a disappointment to you? No, not at all. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing at the Bell Center, but... You know, I'll, I'll be able to wait. I know we play them in two or three years, mm -hmm. so come. I'm not disappointed at all. I know we play other good teams, and my parents and friends will come out to see me uh, probably on the road. So okay. I'm not disappointed. I know that in a few years we'll play them yeah. at the Bell Center. Did you grow up a Canadians fan? No, I was always a Detroit Red Wings fan. Oh, okay. How'd that happen? I don't know. I've always liked them. <laughs> they had good players, and I stuck with them. All right, then what about the prospects of playing them tomorrow night? Oh, I'm looking forward to playing them. Uh, they're big guns, and you know it's an old team, a lot of experience. So it'll it'll be a good test for me, like it was yesterday. Okay. How long you been in the Shark system? Uh, two years. Okay. I was drafted last year. And you uh, participated in the rookie camp last year, and then went back to your junior team. Yes, I just did the rookie camp last year, and this year I did the rookie camp and main camp. Okay. So. And you stuck with the club? Well, yeah, and I stuck. So, you know, like I said. My objective is to stick with the club the whole year. So you don't mind that you're in a corner, kind of the room, right? No, I don't mind. As long <laughs> as I have a spot to sit here, I don't, I don't care where that's I right. am. That's right. You got your name played up there instead of just the generic shark, so that's a good thing. It's a good sign, and no matter where I am, I'll take it. All right. Hey, Mark Edward, thank you very much. Here's uh, hoping we uh, talk to you again in the future. All right. Thank you.